Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As you all know that I have purchased the DJI Mini 3 Pro in India. So whenever we purchase a new drone in India, it's mandatory to register our drone on the Digital Sky website. So in this video, I'll be registering my DJI Mini 3 Pro in the Digital Sky website. So I'll be letting you know guys about the exact step that you need to follow to register your drone. So with these steps, you can register any drone like DJI Mini 2, Mini 2SC, Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro, A2, A2S. So these steps will be same for all the drones. So without wasting much of time, let's quickly get into the video guys. So guys, uh, when you're opening a browser, you have to stay go and search for Digital Sky website. So when you search for Digital Sky, in the first recommendation, you see that welcome to Digital Sky. You have to click on that and here you will see multiple forms that is D1 form, D2, D3, D4. So D1 form is the type certification form. Uh, D2 form is a unique identification number which we'll be mainly focusing in this video. This is the form that we have. We are going to submit to register our DJI Mini 3 Pro in the Digital Sky website. And uh, the other form that we get is D3. D3 is the form that uh, uh, we usually fill up when uh, we sell our drone. So basically D3 form is used to transfer the ownership of the drone. So suppose you have purchased the DJI Mini 3 or DJI Mini 2 uh, now and you wanted to sell it out after 5 months. So if uh, you have already registered your drone and the drone is registered at your name then definitely make sure to transfer your drone ownership to the buyer uh, so that with the drone all the responsibilities of the drone also goes to the buyer. So uh, we will not be looking at D3 form in this video but definitely in the next video I will be explaining how you can fill out D3 form uh, to uh, transfer the ownership of the drone. But in this video let's quickly go ahead and fill out D2 form. So to do that, uh, we have uh, two buttons here. One is register option and one is the login. So if you have already been using the Digital Sky website, then you can go ahead and log in. If suppose you are the first time user for the Digital Sky, then you have to register your account. And when you click on register, you have to enter all the necessary details that are required to register. So as I already have the account, I will be logging in. So when you click on login, you will, you will be asked with the email ID and the password. I'll be entering the email address and the password, uh, selecting the profile as operator, login. So once I hit on login, this is what the interface you see on your screen. So in the dashboard, you can see that the number of UINs are one. So that means already one drone is registered and all other things are zero. It might be the case that uh, in your uh, page it might be zero because you might have not registered any drone so here in the applications when you go to the d2 form you can see that i have already registered my dji uh, mini 2 which i have been using from two years i have uploaded various videos on this uh, how you can utilize the dji mini 2 with its high potential uh, so you can check out those videos as well so here you can see the status as approved and it's come, it comes into the nano category. I had uh, applied or registered this drone in the month of March 2022. So now let's go ahead and register our DJ Mini 3 Pro. To do so, when you come to the dashboard, you get a small plus item over here. You have to click on that. You have to click on Add a UAS, and here you will be asked with the manufacturer name. You just simply type DJI, scroll down and search for your drone. In my case, it's a DJI Mini 3 Pro. I'll be selecting the DJI Mini 3 Pro. You have to enter the UAAS serial number, FCM serial number, RPS serial number. So what are these? So this is a aircraft serial number that you have to enter. You have to enter the RC um, serial number. You have to provide the manufacturer date. So let's quickly tell you how we can get these details so simply you have to turn on your drone so once your drone is turned on all right guys here you can see that our LRC is connected with our uh, drone so here we have to go to the about session let me show you here is the about session and when you scroll down you will get all the serial numbers here so these are the serial numbers that you have to apply 
दिस इज द बैटरी सीरियल नंबर एयरक्राफ्ट सीरियल नंबर एंड फ्लाइट कंट्रोल सीरियल नंबर दीज आर द सीरियल नंबर दैट यू गेट फ्रॉम द अबाउट सेक्शन ऑफ द डी जे एफ लाइट whether you have the smart rc or the normal rc it really does not matter you just have to open your dji flap and go to the about section and you'll simply see all the serial numbers in the about section so uh, let me quickly enter those details over here so uas serial number is the same as of fcm number so it's a uh, same you can see here unmanned uh, aircraft system this is the same number as well as the uh, fcm is a flight controller uh, module which is a uh, aircraft serial number which would be both same and rps is the flight controller serial number you have to enter the flight controller sorry i mean to say a remote controller so we have entered the aircraft serial number and the rc serial number So as you might get a question as what is UAS UUID so it's a universal unique id so you just have to copy and paste the uh, remote controller serial number that's it and if you don't know the date of manufacture then it's a simple hack over here you just copy your serial number you go to the um, service.dji.com/active/search uh, and here you have to provide your serial number i'll be adding this uh, link in the description you can just directly visit this website and uh, you can just verify yourself and then it's a simple process you can just search and here you can see that when my drone was activated so here is the dji mini 3 pro with the serial number and the details when it was activated so here as you, we can see that it's activated in the month of uh, 0580 so let me just select that okay 0580 so once you add this details you just click on preview okay guys now here you can see on the screen that manual serial numbers have been entered all the details are correct you can just validate your serial numbers all right everything looks good let's submit okay serial number has been successfully added okay go back to the dashboard okay uh, once you are done with that here you can see that uh, in the get or transfer uin you will get a recently applied one so here is the one that we were looking at this is the mini 3 pro uh, so model type is exe i will okay 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 manufacture date all those stuff are updated up lare okay when you can apply upload the photographs of your us second select so here guys you have to uh, upload the photos of your dj mini 3 pro from the front view top view and close up of the manufacturer import that means this is the one that you have to be showing and uh, left view right view and all these files should be under 3 mbs so let's quickly capture the photos Okay guys we have the photos in our system now Need to capture let me quickly show you how the photos look like okay this is the close uh, close view of the serial number this is the front view this is the side view of the left side right view and the top view these are the photos that you need to be capturing and here you can see that properties uh the size of the file is 88 kb that means you have to maintain a very less size of the file click on upload okay the photograph should be shot against a clean background All right we have done that so here guys you can see our form is ready 
found detailed application for the registration of unique identification number, uh, full name, mobile number, uh, email address, Aadhaar number, Indian passport number. All these details are up to date. Uh, details of the organization. We are non-organization. We are running. A, uh, we are individual user. Uh, so okay, okay. Everything looks good. All right. Here, guys, you can see that uh, the fee reset is mentioned as 100 rupees. So uh, when we proceed further, we need to pay 100 rupees to get this validation. So make a payment. Click on check mark. Continue. Okay. Make a payment. All right, guys, you can confirm all the details. Here is the uh, proposed details civil aviation and tourism. All right, can the payment is done here on the screen. You can see that order ID, transaction ID payment amount and application id if they did you can take the screenshot of this particular page and uh, once the payment is successfully done you can go back to the dashboard and here at the dashboard you can see that the number of uis are being displayed as two that means i have two drones registered on my account and so now when we uh, scroll down and go to the applications here when you go to the form d2 you can see that our new application has been submitted here you can find the application number uh, serial number uin generated uh, date and uh, model uh, status is approved and apply date so when you click on view details you will see all the details over here and you can take a printout of this all right that's it for this video guys i hope with this information you'll be able to register your drone on the digital sky website if you guys have any questions or queries feel free to comment below or dm me on the instagram i'll definitely help you out so before ending this video i'll uh, inform you that registering your drone whether it's nano or micro it's very mandatory in india to register your drone on the digital sky website so ensure that you're registering your drone before flying that's it for this video guys i hope you have liked this video and found this video informative if you guys found this video informative do it a like button and subscribe to the channel We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.